Anybody know who P. Diddy is? Raise your hand if you know P. Diddy is. Y'all know P. Diddy went here? Right there is the original chapel that Howard University had. Uh, some people still do have little ceremonies in there, but because Howard has grown to such a degree, chapel is now Howard University, as I said earlier. But originally, that's where it, it was. Now. So you're looking at history, guys. Like, this is something you just don't look in the, in the book, right? And like, this is how we got a bunch of stuff. Like, we read about all of these great people in history, all these, these activists, these leaders, but we got to remember that we can do the same things that they did. Like, we're the, we are the leaders of our time right now. So think about that when you go back home and think about what you can do in your community, in your classroom, to, to make sure that the work continues. What made you want to be a part of the fraternity? It's a great question. So for me, kind of like what you heard, there were so many positive role models, men I wanted to emulate, men who I thought could help me be a better person. All those things helped me make a very easy decision. What do you think? How do you think life would have been if you didn't grow up short? Well, the truth is, I think it would be the same. Okay. But um, I think being a part of this organization. Just made it easier to do things I wanted to do with like minded individuals and uh, gave me role models. Role models are important for people to be on the team and work with you. This is the building. Uh, this is the Alpha Plot. I often stop here for obvious reasons. But unlike most people who have trees, we have a statue. It's entitled Symbiosis. Which is, uh, first of all, it is an abstract pharaoh, which is one of the signs of Alpha. But symbiosis itself means the connection between Howard and the Beta Chapter Alphas in general. Because without us, Howard would not be the same as we know him. Our fraternity and our chapter, we understand how important academics are. With our go to high school, go to college program, we come here now every year. It's been about three years now working with Beta Chapter, so we thank you for that. And for you young men, just remember, we're just here to help you guys be successful. When you leave here, when you return home, your academics, your interactions with your teachers, and all those things are very, very important. So, with that being said, I do want to give this to our beta chapter. We want to thank you for all that you do uh, for the chapter, for the fraternity, and we hope to continue with this great relationship that benefits our young men. Three up. Three point up. NCAA says two and a half. Two point five. Our university, if you can play men's basketball, three point nine. And we try to success. They work with each other. That's why I'm telling the sophomores, talking to juniors and juniors. Each one teach one. That way, you never have to worry about that downfall. Because you have three point oh. We have biology majors, engineering majors, uh, pharmaceutical majors, business majors, guys that are waiting to graduate and go to law school. So you need to look at that academic piece very strongly when you're trying to play athletics. It's a tough job. 
It's tough enough in high school, junior high. But the more you stay with it, the more you put in your sacrifice, and you make your discipline, your job number, you can conquer anything. And that's the major piece of now. Even in basketball, it's not just the guys out there scoring and winning the game. It's the preparation. And the more you prepare yourself for what's going to happen for the next challenge in your life, the easier that success comes to you. The more, and remember, what you do with that sacrifice, discipline, and commitment builds your character. Sometimes you only get one opportunity to be in front of somebody. Make it your best opportunity. Keep on pushing. The Alpha train is a slowly coming. I gotta keep on pushing. The Alpha train is a